Boom! What's going on, everyone? I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I took a short trip up to Chicago. Well, more specifically, Orland Park, Illinois, to find the premier sand, stone, and soil trucking company. I was in luck, as look behind me. Not only did I find the trucking company, I found the real truck that DCP replicated in 64th scale. I'll review the model later on and talk about another Sid Camp company. Previously, I talked about the B model Mack dump truck for Sid Camp, and there's a link to the video in the description below if you missed it or if you want a refresher. I'm standing in front of Sid Camp Inc. Mac R model dump trucks. Now, smash the like button for this cool truck. Sid Camp is a trucking and excavating company. It is a family owned and operated business that provides the highest quality products and services. Satisfied customers of Sid Camp are all across the Chicagoland area. Sid Camp Trucking was founded in 1964. I'll bet you can guess it's named after its founder, Sidney J. Camp. <laughs> Sidney started out small with a single six-wheeler dump truck and a dream. He managed to get a handful of customers to give him a chance, and before long, Sid Camp Trucking was on its way up. 46 years later, the business grew along with its fleet of trucks to be the leader in the distribution of sand, stone, and soil. Following Sydney's business philosophy of customer satisfaction being the first priority has kept Sidcamp going all these years and will keep Sidcamp trucking and excavating companies the first to call in the Chicagoland area. Service is always performed timely and professionally. That sets them apart from their competition and earned them a top-notch reputation in the industry. Their reputation for customer service is also evident by the maintenance of their equipment. A good indicator of a superior company is how well they maintain their fleet, and SIDCAMP is tops. As long as SIDCAMP keeps this business philosophy, I would expect them to continue well into the future as the premier Chicagoland aggregate trucking company. Now, let's head on over to the rock quarry and talk about this little model of the truck behind me. And here we go, guys. This is the DCP by First Gear Mac R model dump truck in 64 scale, die cast ages 14 and up for Sid Camp Trucking of Orland Park, Illinois. Item number is 60-1161 on this little guy. There it is, out of the box. The R model Mac. Great, great truck for dump trucks. There were bunches and bunches of these out there, and Sid Camp ran a lot of them, as you saw earlier in the video right behind me. This one has five-spoke Dayton wheels that are chrome-plated. Yes, there were chrome Daytons back in the day. There just weren't very many of them. It has the fuel tank there with the step in it and the battery box. Sid Camp Orland Park tampoed on the door. Very simple paint scheme. It has some pinstriping in the light blue on top of the dark blue section. And then some more pinstriping here on the bed. Really, they tried to dress it up even though it's kind of a plain Jane truck. Now, the dark blue is a nice gloss. The lighter blue, to me, is lacking the sheen and the glossy look, but it still looks really nice. It has chrome mirrors, chrome air horns, it has chrome wheels, chrome front bumper, chrome bulldog on the hood. Look at that. Ain't that bulldog cute? It has the MAC logo tampoed on the side of the hood. The turn signals here are individual jewel style pieces that are orange, and then they put them on. There's also a little marker light painted in yellow on the side. Up top here, 
You can see the inside of the bed and also see where the piston is mounted in the bed. That piece cut out inside the bed is for the raising and lowering piston. It has a little roof vent painted over and then the individual roof lights. Well, they're not individual. They're molded into the cab. They are in silver with orange on the front for the amber lenses. Then you see two chrome air horns. Also, you can see the two chrome mirrors. Underneath, max style rear differentials, spring suspension, nice soft rubber tires, even though they're too big, drive shaft, bottom of the engine, and transmission detail. Also, there's the um, air tank and the wet tank for the hydraulics. Now, this truck does not have any steerable front end. They just didn't do it back then on the R model. This was a true first gear tooling. It was not a DCP tooling. Around to the back, you see the Mack branded mud flaps. Big old bulldog with Mack trucks logo there. Then since 1964, tampoed on the back of the tailgate. The brake lights are tampoed in red. They're bright red on top of the dark red frame. Tailgate does open, as does the bed dump. It goes up and then the tailgate will dump. Really, really nice. You can see that. Now let's go over to the passenger side. You can see that with the bed up, you got that nice dark frame, the wet tank there for the hydraulics to raise the bed. It's got a chrome exhaust stack with a tip that's turned out, pointing it out so it blow away from the lip that goes over the cab. The bed has nice detail on the side. The only thing is the upper boards are just molded in and they painted them blue Probably would have been nicer if they left them wood colored because the wood grain doesn't really show up that well, but it's okay. Air cleaner here and air intake cap is painted in the light blue. Said Camp Oil and Park on the door and then pinstriping the marker light and the turn signal. Also on this side, you can see the little cutout where the air intake goes into the engine. Under the hood, detailed Mack inline six cylinder diesel engine radiator and all the necessary piping to make it look right onto the front here it has the chrome bumper with the guard for the grill individual jewel style headlights into those little points onto the front fenders mac logo tampoed in lettering right there above the grill and then the bulldog interior two tan seats tan dashboard black steering wheel and it has a chrome gear shift and note, when the hood raises, the grill doesn't go with it. It just stays behind. That way you can have that um, guard in front of the grill. It won't break or you wouldn't have to fold it down. Mac was really thinking when they did that. They just leave the grill behind. And then it has those rear mud flaps. And then low, when it's up, the mud flaps push into the rear tire and actually hold the tire in place. So... Just be careful. That's a, you don't want to break them. And that is the Mac R model dump truck for Sid Camp of Orland Park, Illinois. It is the one, two, three, fourth release for Sid Camp. There was a Mac Granite with a low boy for Sid Camp. There was an R model Mac with a 22 foot in dump trailer for Sid Camp. Then there was a B model dump truck for Sid Camp, and now the R model dump truck for Sid Camp. Maybe we'll get them to do a Mac Granite dump truck for Sid Camp to complete the set. They were all first gear toolings and first gear releases. This one is, and the B model were released as DCP by first gears after the purchase of diecast promotions by first gear. What about the little? High quality 64 scale Mac R model dump truck by DCP. Let me know your thoughts down in those comments. Earlier, I talked about Sid Camp Trucking. Well, there is another company in the mix, and that is Camp Excavating. To complement the trucking company, excavating services are offered through Camp Excavating. They provide earth moving services for residential and commercial customers. Reliable, accurate, and expert workmanship are the key to their success and reputation in the contracting field. 
seems like a smart idea to me for an aggregate trucking company to add on excavating services. Well, my time is up here, but before I run off, I've got one of these models to sell and there is a link to my website in the description below. Once it is sold, the link will disappear, so don't wait too long. Now, I'm off to another destination for another video. So, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of all of my future videos and find out where I'm going. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon.